Hello, we are back together for the final part of the preventive maintenance plan on the Swiss Nano 4. Once again, I invite you to go watch the previous part of the series if you didn't watch it already. Let's continue the maintenance with the Festo module. For that one, you have to turn off the machine and then switch off the air. In case you have to leave the machine, use a locker for your safety. Let's now remove the two silencers located the side of the reservoir. Grab a 14 mm flat wrench to help you to loosen the silencers. Then you can finish the job by hand, of course. It is as well a good occasion to check the water level inside the reservoir. If you see some water droplets inside, it's fine. But if you have a lot of water, you should control your air unit system, the external one, or your compressor. We are now going to replace the filter inside the reservoir. You need to remove the reservoir first, so pull the lock, turn clockwise the reservoir, and pull everything away. We have no access to the filter. To remove this one, you grab the small washer at the end of the filter, you turn it clockwise, and then the filter will come out. You can now replace the filter and the two silencers by new ones. There is one more silencer inside the main spindle area. He is just next to the white filter for cutting oil. Then you can just untie this one and replace it by a new one. Now it's time to exchange the two last silencer of the pneumatic group. They are inside this area. For that, you have to remove this cover. Inside, you will see the pneumatic module. And then you have to move up this pneumatic module to access to the bottom of the unit and then it will be possible to remove the two last silencer. You have now access to the pneumatic module. In order to access the two silencers located at the bottom of this one, you will first need to unclip the module. There is two clips, one on the top, one on the bottom. You pull the module to you strongly. And then you can remove the big connection on the face of the module. There is two screws on the side of the connection. Loosen those and pull the connection to you. Then that gives you access to the blue air pipe under the connection. You need to remove this one as well. You should be able to move more freely the module. You can now access the two silencers located at the bottom. You need to unscrew them. Replace those and reinstall everything you remove in the backward order. Now the maintenance for the pneumatic group and the electrical cabinet is finished. You can turn on again the machine. For that, don't forget to remove the lockers if you install one. First, turn on the air. Check if you see six bar here. If not, you can adjust the pressure with this unit. Then, turn on the main switch and start the machine. To finish our maintenance tour, we will exchange the battery. Those batteries are really important because it will save the reference point of the machine, but also the parameter. When you switch off the machine or when there is a power blackout, the batteries are located on the back side of the machine and also on the back side of the screen. But before to exchange the battery, make sure that the machine is on. If the screen is on, it's a good point to start the battery exchange. 
Let's start with the back side of the screen. Turn the screen and from this side you will have an access to all the screw to remove the panel. We have now access to the fan controller. The battery is located at the right of this one. So your power is on, the machine is on, so you are safe to remove the battery. You need to make sure that your machine is on before removing it. Press on both sides of the battery and pull it out. Replace the old battery by a new one. Insert the new battery till it click and you can reinstall the cover on the control panel. Keep your machine power on and go behind the machine to remove the battery for the amplifiers. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the cover first. Then replace the battery by new ones and make sure you respect the polarity. In case of a dot, you have a diagram inside on the side of the batteries. The battery's replacement is now finished and you can reinstall the cover. Thank you for watching our preventive maintenance guide. I hope you pass a good time and have learned some new things. For the items we replaced during this maintenance, all the information you will need are in the link below. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.